So I'm really excited that I can change your view of this room, maybe, after today. Yeah? Um, this is amazing. I'm so happy to be here, and uh, I'm just going to give you a little bit of background as to what I'm doing here, just in case uh, you're not sure. Um, you know, many of you may have seen High School Musical. Yeah. A few of you, I met her. Um, but basically, the, the long and short of it is that after that movie was over, I went through this period where I really tried to figure out how it was possible to have traveled to all these different places, how it was possible to have been on magazines and on billboards and in talk shows and all these things to still be left with me. How was that possible? After all of this, after achieving what everyone works for and strives for, how is it possible to still have places that aren't filled, to still feel as though there was something more that I wanted? And so I kind of pursued the same kind of road, you know, looking for, well, maybe it's my next role, maybe that's what it is, or maybe it's uh, working with this person or that person, maybe that's what it is. But I realized that it was actually none of those things. It was that although the, one of my major dreams came true, there was still something in me that knew that I had more to offer and knew that the world had more to offer to me. And so I took a break and I looked in myself and I said, what am I really, what am I passionate about? How can I stop kind of pursuing the same dream, chasing the same thing? And I realized, well, let me just start with the thing that I'm most known for. What made High School Musical so successful? And I was like, well, that is really good. <laughs> wonderful director, and we all really do love each other, but there's got to be, there's got to be something more. And the message of the movie was really good. But more than that, I realized that the reason, the sole, number one, blaring reason why High School Musical was as successful as it is, is because of you.